folks, thank you for tuning in again. My name is Chris Murahan Jr. Today we have a very unique and exciting guest. We have Troy McLean. You've seen him on Donald Trump's The Apprentice. Troy is also a very successful businessman in marketing and real estate. Troy, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Chris, thank you, brother. So, Troy, just real quick, obviously you're very successful in what you've done. You were on The Apprentice for Donald Trump, one of the most successful businessmen out there, and you're a successful businessman yourself. What are a couple of success principles that you applied along the way to get where you've been? I think the biggest principle that I applied for myself is to look beyond the obvious. And if you look at even me being on The Apprentice, there was 215,000 people that applied for the first season of The Apprentice. 11,000 face-to-face interviews, 250 callbacks. Ultimately, I go on the show and I'm the only one with no education as they announce it. Wow. There's 15 people with a PhD, with an MBA, with a BA, and me, I've got a high school diploma. But I chose to look at things beyond the obvious, and so when I went on the show, I said, Mr. Trump, I do have a PhD. He said, well, excuse me, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember you going to school. I said, Mr. Trump, you got to look beyond the obvious. I have a PhD. I was poor, hungry, and driven. You know what I got today? And he said, what's that? I said, my MBA. And he said, did you go back to school? I said, no, my MBA, my massive bank account. <laughs> so you got to look beyond the obvious. You can't always look at the things and the titles that others are going to place on you. You're a boxer. You're a slinger. You're this. Everybody just thinks you're going to be punch drunk. No, you're a businessman. You are the guy that you are supposed to be that you choose to look at, not the titles that others. So, Troy, you're saying that Look beyond the obvious, meaning that not only what's right in front of you, there's tons of other options. You need to look outside of your radius or radar? Absolutely. You look outside of your own radius. You look outside of the titles that everybody else is going to place on you. Uh, another example of that is people say, well, hey, if you don't go to college, how are you going to be smart? Well, just because you don't pay tuition doesn't mean you don't pay attention. Okay. Right? Yeah. So you don't have the degree that hangs on the wall. You didn't pay tuition. But you still pay attention. You pay attention to self-help tapes. You pay attention to the news. You pay attention to what other successful leaders are doing. You know what I do? I do R&D. You know what R&D stands for? I do not. What is R &D, it? R&D, most people say the obvious decision of R&D is research and development. Okay. That's not what R&D is. Rob and duplicate. <laughs> do what somebody else has already done successful and yeah. do it the way that they did it. Exactly, exactly. So, so do you think if you have a mentor and you just duplicate what he's done, you can save yourself years and years and years of failure? Absolutely. The best way to get successful is to follow guys like me that have already stepped in it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Because I'll tell you where the pitfalls are at. The best way for a 20-year-old to get to where a 40-year-old is at today is listen to the 40-year-old. Oh, of course. So, Troy, we were talking earlier and you said something very interesting. You said that in life, it's just like a fight. You're going to get hit. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. And you think it's key and super crucial that once you get hit, it's how you react to it, how you get up, how you keep fighting. Can that be applied in any aspect, business, relationships, just life in general? Yeah. Success and failure is not defined on how many times you hit somebody. Success is defined as how fast you get up from getting hit. Not how hard you hit. Not how many times you hit somebody. But success to me is defined on how fast you recover. And it's just like in the boxing game. It's how fast you recover. There's guys that are going to be bigger, faster, and stronger, and tougher. There's guys that have got a better left hook that can step in with their right or step in with their left a hell of a lot faster than you mm -hmm. can. But the ones that recover the quickest, those are the ones that are the most successful. In business, same thing. It's about stepping out and doing it. And then when you fail, success is defined on the recovery rate of your failure. Wow. Troy, your words of wisdom are off the hook. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to apply it to my life. I know the viewers will too. So, Troy, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Viewers watching, listen to people who have what you want in life. As Troy said, look beyond the obvious. Just because something's right in front of you doesn't mean there's other options out there. Also, you, learning is everywhere. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to get an education, a PhD, etc., etc. You can watch TV. You can watch the news, read, listen to audios, etc., etc. Also, in life, you're going to get hit. You're going to go through some struggles. But, as Troy said, it's not about how fast you can punch. It's about how fast you can get up and react to all the difficulties. Folks, thank you for watching. I'm Chris, Mir 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 Chris McGarrahan Jr. We will see you next time.